What's up, everybody? I have an update uh, on my family situation. And, you know, the reason why I share these stories is because maybe you're going through these type of things with your family. I don't just make stuff up when I get up here and make videos and try to just pump things to people to, you know, enrich myself. I'm the baby of five. So when you see a lot of family things, you could either be like them or you can choose to take a different path. First and foremost, if you come from a blended family, you already know what I'm going to talk about. A blended family means you don't share the same parent. Either you come from the same parent or the mom is a different mom or the dad is a different dad. I have like every whammy against me right now. I'm the only one from the second marriage. I'm the baby. So people will always look at me as the little dumb young tag along brother. And I'm the only one that knows about investments and actually executed a plan. So recently I made a video that my sister's losing her house. And I knew there was more to the story because anybody that's in real estate, I've never lost a house. I've lost a house during a divorce, but I never had a foreclosure or you know a bank take a house from me. I knew there was more to this story. My sister took a loan out on the house. Now, she took a loan. We found out that she took a loan. I don't know how much for, because when you start asking too many questions, all of a sudden it becomes your problem or you're like involved in it. So let me get to this story. Think about subscribing, uh, joining the channel. The reason why you see me wear this Aruba shirt a lot is to always remind me what the ultimate God willing plan is for me and mine, me and my woman, because we worked hard to get to where we're at. And I refuse to be living in another country, sending money back home to take care of grown adults. So when I mean a blended family, a lot of times they will have a bond that will not be with you. Here's why. When, 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 when my mom divorced their father, she met my dad and I'm the youngest by like 14 years, okay? Everybody else is in their mid 50s, early 60s, and I'm 14 years younger than my brother. So there's a lot of different things that I saw and that they experienced that I didn't experience. From my understanding, their father did not work. He was very lazy, and that was one of the reasons why the divorce happened. My dad was different. My dad was always at work, always, you know, always providing. He actually helped provide for them. And, you know, that not being their father, they always had like a resentment, I guess. And I think some of that resentment when my mom passed end up spilling over to me. A lot of you there's a movie called Soul Food and Big Mama was the backbone of my family. I will tell you that right now. My mom did everything for everybody. She cooked, She her home was always like, you know, it was like the safe neutral space. My mom wouldn't tolerate any bickering and stuff in front of her. But at the same time, my mom did so much for people. I believe, you know, I believe she enabled a lot of people not to want to do better. My sister, who's losing this house, lived with her for 30 years. My cousin, who lives there, lived there for, has lived with them for 30 years. I remember my cousin living with me when I lived there. And recently, I got a phone call saying that we're going to go out to dinner to discuss my sister's uh, the situation. Now I'm saying to myself, we're going out to dinner. This is a serious situation. Like, why do we gotta go out to dinner? This is one of the reasons why she's in this situation. So how are we gonna discuss a serious matter with waiters and waitresses coming, loud noise all around us? And first and foremost, who's gonna pay for this damn dinner, all right? You guys are broke. Now, my, now listen, my oldest sister, she is, you know, she was a housewife pretty much. Her husband is very successful. He's an architect. He owns businesses, stuff like that. My other sister, she worked at the police department, just like my mom did. So she has a pension. She just retired, stuff like that. Horrible with money. I'll tell you that right now. Horrible with money. If it wasn't for the pension, she would be in the same situation as my sister who's losing the house. Then there's my sister who's losing the house, 
right? Hasn't worked in over four years. Then there's my brother. Me and him do the same thing. We, we are both longshoremen. Now, my brother makes a lot of money, has a lot of money in savings, but he doesn't understand the investing part of it where you will outlive your money. Now, he's going to be okay. He's going to have a pension like me, but we're different because I feel like when I feel like this, right? When I was messing up, people love to have me around because I made them feel better about their lives. Going through a divorce, DUI, I was broke. I mean, I had, I was bringing home great money, so I never really fell behind, but I really didn't in like, I didn't know about wealth building. And then when I started to discover it, it was like new to me. I wanted to share it with everybody and nobody really pretty much gave a damn that I knew once I started to realize eventually when, when, when people pass away, claws will come out, people will come out the woodwork. When my mom passed away, uh, people start showing up that, that like, I didn't even, that never came around before. And I'm gonna come out and tell you valuables was leaving the house. And I remember my father saying to me, do not get involved in any of that. I'm telling you, I can honestly say since my mom passed away, I haven't been upstairs in that house. Like I've come inside the house, gone downstairs, used the bathroom, but I refuse to go upstairs because that's where my mom passed away. She passed away in her lazy boy in her sleep. And for me, that just brings back too many memories of getting that phone call while I was at work. And that will always stay with me. And back then I said, we need to get them out of this house. We need to sell this house, give them some money, whatever, whatever, and get them into a smaller apartment, a house. They're not going to be able to maintain this. Me and my older sister, we tend to think alike, okay? The baby and the oldest, you, majority of the time, will probably share the same opinions, okay? Now, I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of times they say the oldest and the baby have a bond. Now, me and my oldest sister, we're, we're cool as hell, no problems. She's... She's so much older than me and I'm so much younger like there like there is no beef. But the middle ones, they have like an alliance, like a like a survivor alliance where no matter what happens, me and my oldest we always get outvoted. So they voted to keep them in the house. They don't need to be leaving. You know, rent is high, uh mortgages are high. Now my mom passed away in 2022, right? That was like peak housing frenzy crazy. You could have got the most for that house and put them downsize, downsize and invest some of that money and you would have been better off than you are now. Now, I'm not getting involved with all that loan stuff. I don't even know you could take a loan out on a house like that. Um, you know, I remember we signed over everything to my sister because she pretty much didn't have anything. I didn't want anything. I didn't, I didn't want to be wrapped up in none of that. I lost my mom. My mom was the prize. Like I didn't, I'm financially, I'm good. I didn't want to be tied into any of that. So well, we get invited out to dinner to discuss this and I don't go. I said, I'm not going because when my mind is made up, like I'll think about a situation and when I think about it, sleep on it, give us some time, I'm standing true to it. I'm not giving anybody any money. Now, my brother, on the other hand, he's, oh, I'll buy him a house and, and the, you know, and the, they could just pay me. I'll pay the rent for the apartment. Now, that may seem like his heart is in a good place, but here's, here's how I know this is going to end up bad. The person who gives the person money, they will feel like they have control over that person. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. You know, how long are you gonna take care of somebody? If they couldn't pay where they're at now, what makes you think they're gonna pay you? Now, my other sister who worked where my mom works, she just follows what my brother says. And my oldest, she's kinda just, I mean, she's just there. Like, she really ain't saying too much. I already know her husband's like, yo, you better not get involved in this. I mean, she's kinda just there. And my dad is telling me, yo, stay out of it. I'm telling you, stay out of it. Don't get involved in this. They're always going to look at you as like, you know, they're your brothers and sisters, but you don't share the same mom and dad. You share the same, just mom. Okay. You don't share the same dad. So they're all, they're automatically going to have like a bond between them. And he always told me like, I'm not going to be able to describe it, but it's different. So I didn't go. And 
I got a lot of shit for not going. Oh, why didn't you come? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? You should have been here. Listen, I'm sorry, but it's not my problem. I already told you, I'm not giving any money. I'm not taking care of anybody. Now, my brother thinks he's doing a great thing. Here's why. Here's why when you start to educate yourself about finances, you know this is the worst thing he could ever do. Here's why. What happens if something happens to my brother? If my brother passes away, do you really think his wife is going to take care of her deceased husband's family? No. When people pass away, claws come out and things happen. Do you really think she's going to continue to take care of a uh, her husband's sibling who's older than him, her boyfriend, a cousin? Do you really think she's going to do that? No. She's going to, I can guarantee what she's most likely going to do. She's going to move on with her life. She's either going to stay in the house that her and my brother have, or they're gonna, or she's going to liquidate everything, and she's going to be like, yo, I'm done. I have no more affiliation with this family, and I'm moving on with my life. Now, my brother, when he gives something, it, it's like he wants control over the situation. This is why I backed away, because a comment was made. A lot of you know I got a BMW recently. Excuse me. I went to a graduation party. And two of those family members was like, damn, it's like that. Oh, it's like that player. That, that's how we doing now. We live in large. That's the type of family I have, yo. Like they think this was created overnight. They were not there when I was slaving overnight, night after night, night after night, night after night, eating ramen noodle. A lot of you know out there, if you live by yourself, I live by myself since the age of 19. I moved out early. I grinded, yo. There was times I was eating overstuffed Chef RD on a butter roll. A lot of you dudes out there know what I'm talking about. Overstuffed Chef RD ravioli. You got you. You don't have any money. You're eating a butter roll, Chef RD sandwiches. You're eating like ramen noodle. You're eating tuna fish. You're. I could barely make my rent back then, but I never, ever, ever went after anybody and asked them, can I borrow money? I may have brought my clothes back to my mom's house every now and then when I, when I didn't have any quarters or any money to go to the laundromat. And I may have packed up some meals from my mom, but my mom knew I was struggling and she would pack me up some meals. And now people expect me to join in. Like that's what my brother wants. He wants me to go half with him on this next venture of a house for them or an apartment and pay for it. He doesn't understand. There's utilities, my man. Who's gonna put all these utilities in their name? If their credit is messed up and they don't, and they can't prove any wages, how are you gonna get utilities? They don't need a house. They're already losing a house. I, in, in my opinion, this is what I said. I, and I said this a long time ago. They need to put their big boy pants on. My sister and her man, if they're serious, go get your own place with my niece. My cousin needs to go about his business and get his own little studio. He ain't got no kids. He ain't got no girl. But I'm not taking care of adults because what will happen is my brother will run out of money. He does not invest. Okay. He does not. He doesn't know anything about stocks. My family does not know anything about stocks. Roth IRAs, S&P 500. They don't want to hear that shit. They don't... They like nice cars, nice pocketbooks, going out to dinner. And growing up as the baby, I saw a lot of this shit. I heard them complaining about money all the time, but they made really good money. My sister, who's losing this house, has made really good money, yo. She she was executives for businesses, for retail businesses. And the retail companies went out and she lost her job, but she never planned for this time. So when I make these videos, I live it. I see it. I'm not getting involved in that. I am not going to be somebody's meal ticket. It's just not going to happen. I did not work all these years, okay? All these years. It is Sunday early morning. I'm making this video. I'm doing overtime because I'm planning for being off for seven weeks in the summer. We are traveling in the summer. I'm supposed to go to work and bust my ass and do overtime to pay somebody else's bills? Once you start paying somebody's bills, they will expect it. And that's where we're at right now. They're not even asking anymore. They're just expecting me to pay bills. I'm not doing this. You got to tell your family, no, I'm not going to work for you. 
you're not in my home. That will create a problem in my home. It will. I'm not letting people's outside inability to manage money destroy my home. I got a great woman and I'm not about to make any problems. We got dreams. We have dreams. I'll keep you guys updated on this, but my story's not gonna change. If my brother wants to pay people's mortgage and rent, do so. But what about your family? Eventually, your wife is gonna say something, bro. She's gonna, she's gonna be like, wait a minute. We don't take no trips, we don't go anywhere, and you're taking care of grown adults? If something happens to my brother, anything could happen, my sister will be back in the same situation that she is in now. And in my opinion, the dude she's dating he needs to step up. What are you doing, bro? People are trying to figure out your living situation. People don't see the craziness in this. I'm supposed to figure out another grown man in his 50s living situation. I'm not related to him. I'm not. Him and my sister have been together for like four, four years, five years. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. So just remember, people will have their opinions, but you know, my dad is advising me, yo, that's not your problem. That's not your problem. It's not. Now, my dad, even though he's not my brother's dad, he got my brother. He he paved the way for my brother down here. He called me up and was like, yo, um, you know, how do you feel about whatever, whatever? All right, I don't care. That's my brother. It is what it is. My brother started two weeks before me. All right. I'm just going to let you know the difference and I know this might not matter, but this is the difference. Me and my brother do the same job. He works way more hours than me because he's taking care of way more mouths, all right? He has half the amount in his annuity than I do. You wanna know why? Because he keeps his money in some guaranteed crappy fund where he's paying a crap ton of fees. I put my money in stuff with low fees, S&P 500, and I'm smoking him by like $170,000 in our annuity. I showed you that. I tried talking to him. He didn't want to hear it. He knows everything. So when people know everything and then they start to fail, you got to let them figure out the hard way. I'm not I'm not dealing with grown adult problems. You made this bed. You got to lay in it. The only way people learn their lesson is to let them figure it out on their own. The same way I've been telling people don't gamble with your future is because I see it in my own family. They gamble with their future with the luxury items, not taking care of their finances, and now they're looking for help from everybody. And my sister is still like three years or four years away from social security and how much is gonna be in that? You don't have an, a Roth IRA, you don't have investments, you don't have a pension, you don't have an annuity. Social security, what? You gonna pay back my brother for this house with social security? So, hope this video helps. We all got issues, we all got problems, but I'm standing true to this. I'm not bailing out any family members. That's just, that's just not happening. The only one I worry about is my niece, her future is going to be taken care of because you can't change adults. You can only help the kids that are growing. So I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you updated. No regrets. Get it.